how marketers are using RedTrack with Facebook SIA PI to solve the attribution problem. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step solution to a huge tracking problem since iOS 14 update 2021 for affiliate marketers on Facebook ads. One of the most difficult problems was the iOS 14.5 update. It effectively removed attribution, and metrics no longer appear in Facebook Ads Manager as they formerly did. Fortunately, RedTrack has a solution to this problem that lets you track everything correctly via first-party cookies instead of using third-party cookies. By using this tracking method, you can get back all your Facebook Ads reports quickly. RedTrack offers you to use their full tracking tool for 14 days for free no credit card required, so you can see for yourself how great it is. Now let me show you step by step how to set up RedTrack to get back your Facebook ads reportings. Step 1. Add your offer source and configure your postback. The first step is to add your offer source and set up as 2s postback in your CPA network, which means you'll need to add your RedTrack postback URL in your network. Select conversion tracking from the tools menu in RedTrack and copy your S2S postback URL. Next, go to your CPA Networks settings and enter your RedTrack postback URL to the postback or conversion tracking section. Don't forget to replace click ID with your network's correct click ID parameter. Step 2. Integrating the Facebook API and adding the traffic source. Next, we need to integrate Facebook via API, but to be able to do that, we need to add Facebook as a traffic source first. In RedTrack, go to Traffic Sources and then to Plus New. And scroll down to Facebook and click the Add button. Then you must link your Facebook account using the API. To verify your account, click Connect and follow the procedures. It will be taken back to your RedTrack account once you've successfully connected your Facebook account. Then you'll need to provide your conversion API key and Facebook Pixel ID. Generate the conversion API key. Log into your Facebook account, go to Pixel Settings, select Settings, scroll down until you find Conversion API, and click Create Access Token. Copy your token to your clipboard, and go back to RedTrack and paste your API key in the Conversion API key box. You'll also need to add your Pixel ID, so head back to your Facebook Pixel Settings and copy it, and paste it in the Pixel ID box in RedTrack. Step 3. Add your offer. Next. Add your offer link and double check that it has the right click ID parameter. Click offers and plus new to add your offer. Then give your offer a name. Choose an offer source, affiliate network, and paste your offer link into the URL field, making sure it has the right click ID. Step 4. Verify and add your domain to the offer section in RedTrack. To verify your domain, go to your business manager account and choose domains from the brand safety menu. Then select add. Type in your domain name and select Add Domain. Next step is to set up DNS. On Facebook, go to your domain and click on DNS Verification. Go to the registrar where your domain is registered and copy the unique TXT. Open your domain registrar's DNS settings and create a new DNS. Record with the following values. After that, return to Facebook and click the green Verify button to confirm DNS. The verification procedure can take up to 72 hours, though it is generally much less. On Facebook, a green dot will display next to your domain name if the verification was successful. After you've completed all of this, return to RedTrack and go to your offer settings, where you'll need to enter your domain in the default event URL box. Step 5. Create a RedTrack campaign. In order to create a RedTrack campaign, go to Campaigns and then Plus New. Next, give your campaign a name. Choose a traffic source and your tracking domain. If you don't want to utilize a custom tracking domain, leave it blank. Then, after selecting your landing page and offer, save your flow. Next, we need to make our campaign a no redirect campaign instead of redirect. So, just above the click URL, in the campaign settings section, pick no redirect and it will produce your no redirect script, which you'll need to paste into your landing page header. Using a coding editor like Sublime Text, modify the source code of your landing page and paste the script into the head section. That's all. Instead of using the Red Track Campaign URL, you can now use your landing page URL as your final URL, and anybody who clicks on any of the CTAs on your lander will be sent to your offer. Step 6. Facebook Pixel Warm-Up You'll need to warm up your Facebook Pixel since it won't accept your event until it's determined that it's a legitimate event that can be utilized for Facebook optimization.
As a result, you'll require some actual clicks to create a Facebook campaign on a small budget. All you need is 10 to 20 clicks in RedTrack integration. Step 7. Generating Fake Conversions After you've collected 10 to 20 clicks from your low-budget warm-up campaign, you'll need to produce some fake conversions. When you've gathered enough clicks, go to RedTrack, choose Logs, then Clicks, and you'll get a list of all the click IDs from whom you've gotten clicks. Then from the list, copy the click ID and paste it into your postback URL template. Navigate to Tools, then Conversion Tracking, then S2S Conversion Track. Copy the postback URL and add the click ID to it. Paste that link to your browser and press Enter. You've successfully generated a fake conversion if you see the message above. However, one conversion isn't enough for warm-up, so repeat this process with the other click IDs you found in the logs, generating around 10 to 15 conversions equally throughout the day. Step 8. Checking Stats on Facebook After you've created these fake warm-up conversions, double-check the data on Facebook to make sure they've been received. Select data sources and pixels in your business manager. Then, to set up your events, go to the aggregated events management. After you've chosen your domain, you can begin managing your events. That's all. Once you complete these steps, you will be able to fix tracking issues caused by the iOS upgrade horror and track your reporting correctly thanks to the number one campaign tracking tool, RedTrack.